Back in the woods again. The plan today is to run in the Ramsey's Draft Wilderness. We're here in the parking area. About seven miles away is Hard Scrapple Knob, which is the high point. So we're going to try to do a 14 mile round trip. We'll see how it goes. Story has it a lot of the trails been washed out by uh, flooding. We'll see what we find. After a couple rocky stream crossings and some ledges, it the trail smooths out to a nice smooth trail here through the woods. Nice to run on. It's a hot day, probably low 80s. But uh, humidity's not real bad and we're in the shade. Life is good. For quite a few miles I was marveling in what great shape this trail was in. The weeds were trimmed back. The down trees were removed. And then I came upon a crew from the Student Conservation Corps. They've been working on this now for weeks. And once I passed their work point, this trail was turned into a near bushwhack. You can see what we're going up here through. I probably got another three miles or so of this to make it the hard scrapple knob. Yeah, I think in the future when this trail is refurbished, this is going to be a great trail run. So uh, at any time past uh, mid-September, this will be great. Well, the trail's gotten a little better and opened up some as we're getting towards the top. One of the new, unique aspects of the Ramsey's Draft is high up here there's virgin timber. It's never been logged. The guidebook talked about the massive hemlock trees that one finds up here and I think I'm standing next to one here on the trail. You can see other ones out there on the other side of the stream bed. While the trail's been nasty, it's been worth the climb. Okay, here's the sign I've been looking for. Half a mile to Hard Scrabble Knob. Ramsey's Draft Trail itself heads off over that away. We're going to hard scrabble, and then we're heading back now. Here's something I wasn't expecting to find on the top of hard scrabble knob. This twisted piece of metal looks like a uh, fire tower, which uh, maybe blew down in a storm. Here we have it. Hope no one was in it when it blew down. Here we can see the top of the uh, tower a little bit better. Well, there it is, the top of Hard Scrabble Knob, 4,282 feet. Little place to camp here, fire circle. And there you can see the collapsed fire tower. Not much of a view, though. But we're going to get on the trail and make it back home. One of countless small stream crossings on this trail. If you do this in high water, or when it's wet out, you are going to get wet. Another stream crossing. Rock to scramble up over. If the water was high, this would be hard to get across. Now it's low and not too bad, but these rocks are slippery and I actually did get a couple wet feet on the way in here. I made it back to the parking lot. It was a good day. Learned a couple things today. First off, this is going to be a great place to run for the next couple years. There's a team here from the Student Conservation Association. They're working until November the 16th to clear these trails. They plan to do the Ramsey Draft tra Trail, Jerry's Run, and any other trail they have time to do. This is going to be a great place to be the next couple years. Second thing I learned, don't give up on a trail too early. You know, there was a time when I got into the unmaintained trail, plenty of blowdowns, lots of weeds. I even wondered if the trail was even there, and I was about ready to turn around and quit. But you go around the next bend, you find the trail again, it opens up. Uh, don't quit too soon. In the words of uh, Deho the King, just remember, it never always gets worse. Sometimes it does get worse and you deal with it, but it never always gets worse. Stick it out a little bit longer.